Greetings and welcome back to EdTech Moment, where we take just a moment to help you integrate technology into your classroom. Last week, we took a look at an open source alternative to Microsoft Office called OpenOffice. But then I realized that we maybe haven't talked very much about what open source software is. So today we're going to take a look at what open source software is, and we'll take a look at a website that you can use to find open source alternatives for other name brand software that you might be more familiar with. Today we're going to take a look at osalt.com. Most software that you see these days is developed by private companies, and they own the license for that software. So when you buy a piece of software, what you're really buying is the license to run and operate that software. For example, when you buy a license for Microsoft Office, that's giving you permission to run one instance of Microsoft Office. And sometimes vendors will offer family packs or site licenses, which give you licenses to operate more than one instance of that software. What open source software is, is software that's developed mostly by volunteers or by a group and so, or sometimes by a company, but they're offering their software free with a free license, which means you're free to download it and use it whenever you need to. The other side of open source software, which is why it's called open source, is that the source code for that software is also made available for free so that developers continue to work on it, can make modifications, can make improvements anytime, with the caveat that they also make their source code free to the community as well. So it's an ongoing living process of developers downloading, accessing the source code, and continuing to improve and modify the software that's available for free. Now the advantage for teachers is that we can access this software freely, and it makes a big difference, especially when we want to install it into our classrooms, and especially for computer labs where you might have multiple computers. Saving money on software licenses can be a great way to extend your technology budget at your site. The problem then becomes, as teachers, how do we get access to open source software that we need to use when we don't normally know all the alternative titles, but we do know the name brand titles. We know Microsoft Office. We know PowerPoint. We know video editing software by name, like Sony Vegas or Final Cut. But a lot of the open source alternatives are not known to us by name. So how do we find them? Here we are at a website called OSAlt. OS being for open source and alt being for alternatives. Their primary mission here at OS Alt is to provide open source alternatives to named software. So let's take a look. If I start by looking at the left hand side, I can see a directory of software. I can click on any category such as education and it'll show us some software that is available. Software is color coded in OS Alt and things that are tagged with a red symbol here mean that they're commercial software that you can buy and things that are tagged with a green symbol are open source alternatives. So let's say I'm a music teacher and I like to use Finale 2010. I can click on Finale 2010. It'll tell me a little bit about it here. And then if I scroll down, it'll show me the open source alternative for Finale is MuseScore 095. And so if I wanted to download that, It'll show me what platforms are available for. So this one is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, which is great, all the major platforms. And so I could click on MuseScore and find out more about that and then download that software. So again, I can search for software that I know that's available commercially and then find the open source alternative to that software. And I can search as well. Let's say I wanted to do a graphic design project with my kids. I can come up to the right hand side. And since I can't afford the expensive license for Photoshop, I can type in Photoshop and do a search up here. And it'll say, okay, we found matches for you. There's Photoshop. And here's Photoshop's Element 8, Photoshop CS5. CS5 is one of the big ones, so let me click on that. And again, it tells me a little bit about Photoshop. So if I wanted to download or find that, I could access that straight from here as well. But then I can scroll down to the green section and see the open source Photoshop alternatives. The first alternative here being GIMP, which is a, actually a graphics program that I've heard of before. And there are several others here. GIMP is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and Unix, which is great. Uh, Krita, GIMP Shop, which is a variation on GIMP, and someone has just made the menus look more like Photoshop, so if you're more comfortable with the Photoshop menus and toolbars, then this will be a more familiar environment for you. And you can see several different graphic programs here that are open source programs and free to download for any teachers. 
So if you're looking to find new software to expand the offerings of your technology programs, be sure to check out OS Alt to find open source alternatives to some of the name brand software that you already hear about. Are you already using open source software in your classroom? Let us know about it and tell us what are some of your favorite open source alternatives. Email us at feedback at edtechmoment.com or tweet us at edtechmoment on Twitter. Thanks for joining us, thanks for watching, and most of all, thanks for taking a moment.